Alright guys, hi, great to see you again. This is episode number nine of my live show. Um, really don't have anything too much to talk about. I mean, I've uh, been asking around, I got people that um, keep asking me to show them different things that I already have in videos on my YouTube account and everything. Um, just don't know what to really say. Uh, if you want, you can call in at this number at the bottom of your screen. If you're watching the recording, of course, you cannot call the number. <laughs> so, um, let me think. Tomorrow's the 4th of July. Uh, hope everybody has something going on if you're a face painter. Um, if you're not a face painter, um, come visit one of us. <laughs> That's all I can say. Uh, um, 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 um. That's my word of the day. Um. Um is my word. Um is the word that comes to mind when you don't really have anything you really have planned out to say. Um, I know I promised to do a video this week. And I'm doing one. Uh, it just, I don't know. So, um, let's see. Tomorrow, I got, uh, 4th of July, I'm going to be over at, um, boy, am I not prepared at all. <laughs> this is ridiculous. All right, Cumberland Square Park in Bristol, Virginia. I'll be set up from 5 o'clock till whenever. Hopefully, they'll have fireworks if it's not raining. But as it's been doing today, which is rain all day long, it feels like I'm in the middle of a rainforest. Um, it's supposed to be like that tomorrow. And now, oh, let me tell you about this great product. If you go to festivals and events and you have problems with your tent leaking and everything and you need to waterproof it so that you know the seams don't have any problem whatsoever there's a product called never wet um, never wet is uh, has been around for a while um, Rustoleum picked it up and they just released it out onto the market I got mine at Home Depot it's only 1997 at Home Depot um, I would go down and get it but uh, I really don't want to take away from the video uh, real quick this is a live video um, uh, oh tell from why body talk about my new group uh, hold on a second I'm gonna do two things I'm gonna talk about the new Facebook group that I have and then I'm going, and I'm also going to talk about the Never Wet product a little bit more. Um, let me just run quickly downstairs, and uh, you'll be able to uh, hear me and everything like that as I'm doing it. So hold on one second, I'll be right back. Uh, grab my keys. Okay, first off, since I was talking about the Never Wet product, the Never Wet product comes in this packaging. Okay, it's a two part system. Now, I've used it on my, um, I've used it on my tent already. Now, it's going to keep it completely waterproof. Step one is a base coat that you put on. Okay, this gives it a nice base for the second part, which is step two. This is the top coat, which makes the product hydrophobic. If you know what a phobia is, 
It's kind of the same thing. Hydrophobic. It's afraid of water. It means it repels water very easily. Now, as a demonstration, I did this for a friend of mine. I took my glass ashtray and I put the hydrophobic product on it. As you can see, it's kind of a milky color. Okay? It's not going to do anything. Now, I'm going to take my Mountain Dew, which this program is unofficially sponsored by Mountain Dew. I'm going to take my container and I'm going to pour it in. I think I put a little bit too much in there. But just to show you what I mean, I don't know if you can see. I'm going to move the camera real quick. Okay? This is a hydrophobic liquid. Means that it's not sticking to any of the product. It's actually veering away from it. Hold on a second. I had a little bit too much in there. Now, as you see, it's just beat it up. It's not sticking to anything. It just moves around very easily. Um, this is a really great product for if you want to waterproof anything. You can waterproof your shoes, you can waterproof your tent, you can waterproof almost anything that you need. Now this product does only cover 10 to 15 square feet depending on how much you use it. Um, I'll stick this down here so he can have the rest of that. Um, it's a really great product. So I've covered my whole tent so we're going to I've already tried it out with um, putting water on it and it just beads right off and it comes right off. The great thing about this is I've been in a lot of festivals and events where it's raining and I have to pack up all my tent that's completely wet into the car. Well with this I won't have to worry about it. Knock off the residue of the water, fold up my tent and stick it away. It's not going to have a problem anymore. I'm not going to have a wet top that's going to grow mildew or anything like that. Um, you can use it for whatever uh, you normally use it for. If you have canvas shoes like uh, Converse, and they, you know how when they get wet, they suck in the water into the inside of the shoe. You put this stuff on the outside, I can guarantee you're not going to have that problem. You're going to have dry feet. It's not going to. Mud will just, you know, fall right off. Anything that's liquid will fall right off, except for oils. You don't want to use oil on it. But, um, you know, chocolate syrup and all that stuff will just completely wash right off of any product. Now, as far as the new Facebook group that I created, it's called Pushing It to the Limits. Now, the reason I do this is because there's so many groups out there that are tutorial groups for face and body painters. Um new groups for newbies, uh, ones who are just starting off. And the problem I see is that these newbies aren't getting any better because they're only getting positive feedback from people. They're not getting the real feedback that they need in order to push themselves and to make themselves better. This is not a group for everybody. It's open to anybody, but it's not a group for anybody. Okay? If you get your feelings hurt, you need to stay away from this group. Because the thing is, we give harsh, constructive criticism. <coughs> Put it to you this way. If your stuff looks like crap, we're going to tell you your stuff looks like crap. We're not telling you to hurt your feelings. We're telling you to make you a better person. You know, this is why it's a closed group. Nobody, it's not going to show up in your news feeds on your friend's wall or anything like that. It's only for you and for other members there to help each other. Now, I also did have a problem with there being um, posting of other stuff. No, this is a completely different group. This group only post your own pictures on there. Don't post anything else. Now, I'll, le I'll read to you the description of the group, which will make it a little bit easier to understand and stuff. This group is strictly designed for the most committed artist in the face and body painting community. If you want to be pushed to the limits of your abilities in the face and body painting, in face and body painting, this is the group for you. 
There will be constructive criticism, challenges, drama, which there's no way around it, egos, also no way around it, opinions and debates. I know that seems like two things, but, you know, opinions lead to debates. Not everyone agrees on how things should be done. And that's true. Not everybody is going to have the same mindset as I do. You know, um, the way I do my muzzle may not be the same way somebody else does their muzzle, but I'm going to show them the proper way that I know to do a muzzle, and then they can learn from other professionals that are in the group too, and they can mix and match and coordinate the whole thing their own way. You know, um, the rules for the group have fun this is the most important part everybody must have fun in here okay keep it civil keep the foul language down to a minimum of course we're gonna get a little bit upset and we're gonna say things that we really shouldn't try to keep it down a little bit don't don't use such vulgarities that are going to cause people to really you know push you away block you everything else like that which personally I don't believe in blocking that's stupid you don't block your friend down the street because he did something stupid. You know, you stop talking to him for a little while, but you're still his friend. Okay? Uh, do not personally attack another member. Take it to a private message. Which means, I hate how in groups, people will take over a whole thread of something that was very important, very knowledgeable, um, great information on it, and then they start personally attacking each other, and it turns into a fight. <coughs> now, nobody's going to read the beginning of the comments people are lazy they don't like to say view all the comments or you know view more comments they're gonna read what's there and they're gonna say I don't even want to deal with this and they're gonna go on so if you're in my group and you have a personal problem with somebody even me private message me private message that person deal with it on your own don't bring it in the group okay do not block admins or else you will be banned from the group. We can still see you even if you block us. Yes, in all groups, if you have blocked even the admin, the admin can still see everything you post and they can see you in the about page. It just shows a blank you know, profile pic and your name in black. We can't click on it, but we know you're there. So if I ever look through the members and I see one of these I will automatically ban it permanently you'll never be able to come back into the group because you cannot play like an adult alright um, if you come in here to argue and fight we will remove you from the group permanently which means if you're just trolling the group if you just come in and you just want to start problems which I already had one of those people and <coughs> luckily they didn't cause too much of a disruption but they did leave <coughs> <coughs> mm, excuse me a second. Okay. Do not make any claims as of as to the dangers of anything unless you have evidence to back up this claim, such as links or documentation. One of the problems I have with people is if they say, Oh, that's not safe, that shouldn't be used on the skin. Unless you can verify that it is unsafe for the skin, such as acrylics, such as PPD black henna, such as, you know, um, enamels for the body and stuff like that. You're not going to put that stuff on because we already know the hazards of them. There was a duct tape thing. Duct tape has been used on bodies forever since it was created, okay? There has not been anything except for what people say. If 80% of the body is covered in duct tape, it can suffocate the skin and release toxins and cause you to die. Well, guess what? How many people are actually going to take duct tape and cover 80% of their body in the face and body painting community? Nobody. Get over it. Okay? Unless you have document, which I do research on everything. You know this. If I say something, I have researched it. If... I am proven to be wrong, I admit that I am wrong, and I will research some more and try to find out more about that. But the thing is, I try not to make any statements unless I know for a fact it is true. The duct tape myth is not true, okay? If you're going to use duct tape for nipple covers, that's your problem because they're so thick and 
ugly and stuff and I mean they just don't have the best edges on them and stuff like that stay away from that I made a video on the group about nipple covers watch that video make nipple covers buy nipple covers there's several different places you can get them from okay so back to the rules if you block someone because you don't like what they are saying this group is not for you and you need to leave immediately common sense if you're just going to come in, you're not going to listen to the constructive criticism and you're going to block somebody because you didn't like what they said, you don't need to be there in the first place. So you just might as well just leave the group so we don't have to worry about you anymore. All right? If you, are, if you already have people blocked prior to joining the group, you do not talk about them here. This will cause you to be banned immediately. This is not a place to talk about other people. I have a secret group for that. Okay, if you want to talk about people and stuff like that, I will join you. Just send me a message and I'll, you know, add you to that group. You can bitch, gripe, complain all you want on there. Not in this group. Do not delete any post until an admin has had a chance to look things over. This causes distress and unrest in the group. If you have a post up and it's causing a problem... You might as well just tag the admin in it, leave it alone after that, let the admin take care of it. Because all you do, if you delete it, you're going to cause another person to post on the wall about, well, this person blocked me because of this and that and everything else, and I'm going to have to, you know, blah, blah, blah. No, we'll end this by contacting the admin, letting me know about it, letting me look it over. There's two other admins on there, and they will contact me if they can't handle it. So... You know, if you have any questions or anything you might not understand within this group, you need to ask an admin. Do not take it upon yourself to assume anything. Everybody knows the whole, you know, thing with assume. It makes an ass out of you and me. Well, there's a lot of people that assume a lot of things in a lot of these groups. I don't want that in this group. This group is to help out the people who do not, who are not up to the level that some of us are. Okay. I'm not up to the level of Mark Reed or Pasha or Jay or them. I'm working my way up there, and I am learning stuff from the new people just as they are t learning stuff from me. You know, there's other people in here that are way better than me. Gina Newsom. She is really good. I learn stuff from her, okay? She has probably learned stuff from me, too. No instructor is strictly an instructor they are also a what a student you know teachers are students and students are teachers we all learn from each other that's what this group is about so I I hope that makes it a little bit better um, I will have challenges in the group which I already have one right now with masks and stuff if you're very interested in that um, hey Sandy if you're still there <laughs> so if you're interested in joining the group I will have a link uh, attached to the video that uh, we're doing right now and um, I'll have a link to it so that you can go take a look at the description and see all the members that are in there and you can request to join if you want. Um, if you're already a friend of mine and you're not a part of the group and you want to be added in very quickly, uh, just shoot me a message. I will add you to the group or just, just join the group. I check it very regularly. So, you know, and the two other admins, they're there. And um, we'll add you to the group, no problem. Um, I just really want to see people get better. I don't want to see them get worse. I know people that are really bad in the face and body painting community who look like, you know, they stayed at the fourth grade drawing level for their entire life. And even though they've taken classes, they haven't expanded upon it. Um, some have, but I mean, they moved up to age five or six in their painting. And it's like, Okay, that's really not helping. Let's push ourselves to the limits. Let's see what we can do. You want to be a better painter? That's what this group is for. 
Uh, 20 minutes in, and I don't know what else to say. I've gone through two different things. Um, if you feel like calling me, call me um, on the air right now. Phone number is 276-696-7491. I will pick up. You will be live on the air with me, and we can talk about anything that you want to. Um, Fourth of July stuff. Tal just posted a contest from Y-Body. Uh, taking a look at it right now. Oh, she's doing a video contest. Uh, 30 seconds long and everything. Um, I'll put that link onto the video too when I post it up. So, Nick Wolf is coming to Richmond. Want to come? When? Tal, when are, when are you having this thing? So, I could probably join in. Uh, I'm trying to see it right now. July 29th. Hold on a second. I gotta check my calendar. July 29th looks pretty good for me right now. And, um... Let's see. This is a workshop that's, uh, okay... Nick Wolf is giving a workshop in Richmond, Virginia, um, July 29th, uh, Practical Animals. It's $150 to go. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to attend at this time. Um, it's a little too pricey for me right now. But I love his work, and I wish I could come. Um, maybe we'll have to do a jam of our own at one time so um, I will take all these links that I have in my chat window here and I will post them onto the YouTube channel where I will be uploading this video after it's done um, I will um, uh, I don't know. Um, no, Tal is not going to be collecting any profit from the actual uh, workshop with Nick. That money is straight for him. It's to go to him and it's to help him out with his brother. Um, it's usually $150 for him. <coughs> mm, got a dry throat. I guess I'm talking too much. Um, the $150 was usually a dual package when you get Nick and Brian Wolf, but since Nick is doing this on his own now and having to travel around, he's actually taking part of this money and giving it to his brother so that he can get better, so that his family has the funds they need to get through things and everything. So, <laughs> I'm going to drink some Mountain Dew instead. Um... <laughs> So with all that, there's a lot of things going on. Nick seems to be, uh, Brian seems to be doing a lot better. Um, he just did some Faba TV classes and stuff. Um, just, he's a great guy and we miss him at the conventions and everything. Um, ah. Uh, what else to say? If you get a chance, if you're around the Richmond area, it's not that far to drive people. It's on July 29th is a Monday, so it's right after uh, you know the weekend. If you have a gig or something like that, you're not going to miss your gigs. Just uh, you know the weekend gigs. 
just uh, pay the $150, go out there, and learn as much as you can from Nick and the stuff. Uh, help him out and his brother. So, you know. Uh, but like I said, I'll be posting those links down below. What else? What else can I talk about? Um, come on, guys. Give me a call. Ah, let me think, let me think, let me think, oh gosh, maybe I'll make this a half an hour show, Uh, I was just not prepared, in fact, I almost didn't even do a show, even after advertising it, because I couldn't get the dang camera to work, I finally got it to work, and it's working now, what kind of practice head do you use, laying behind you? Um, this is a practice head I got from a local salon, Academy. Just down the street from me, they do, um, hair, and, uh, they have a whole bunch of these bald pieces. Now, I may not be getting any more of these because they're now getting these covers for the old heads, so when you get a head, all they do is they buy a cover and it goes over this head and it's got new hair and everything like that, and that stinks. But I got about uh, three of these and two that I, or one or two that I got from another person. So I think we have five all together. Um, these are not for me. I don't use practice heads. This is for my girlfriend who is learning really good. She actually painted my face as a um, as a uh, Spider-Man today. We went out and did some shopping at Walmart and it would have been a lot better. I probably would have had a lot of fun there if it wasn't for the fact that it was rainy, wet, had trouble parking because of idiot drivers, had trouble walking because of idiot drivers with shopping carts, who don't know what the left side or the right side of an aisle is, they decide to park right in the middle, and they just ruin it for everybody. So, you know, I wasn't really in the greatest mood. I had my business cards with me, but I'm glad I had a face painting to cover up the angry face that I had on at Walmart. Um, so, my girlfriend uses this a lot. I'm actually working on a concept for a better face practice head. That is more realistic, gives, uh, uh, has given the nose, the cheeks, the lips, the eyebrows and stuff. So it actually feels like a real face. Heads don't sound like that. Heads are soft. I have soft cheeks. This doesn't have a soft cheek. I use myself as uh, a practice dummy. <laughs> yes, I'm a dummy. So, ah. Uh, where is my girl? She's at work right now. She works second shift over at a convenience store. And she does get some overtime. So, she has a better job that way than she did with her other job, which was working at a cinema. I know it sounds fun to work at a movie theater. It's not. It's stressful. Um, and she was a assistant manager there, and it just wasn't good for her. She's actually happier with a downgrade to working at a convenience store than she is working at the movie theater. It really stinks. Um, is it hard to paint on yourself? Yes and no. Um... It can be depending on your eyesight. Uh, good example, Amanda Rose Marr. She's technically blind without her glasses. Uh, she has to have the mirror so close to her face that it's impossible to put a brush in between the mirror and her face. So she actually paints herself blind most of the time. Which, if you've seen her work, she is incredible. And she has some work on the group I was talking about, pushing it to the limits. Um, if you look for it, look for FBP, pushing it to the limits, or just type in pushing it to the limits, 
up in the description and you'll find it. It's not that hard. Or up in the search on Facebook. It's not that hard. Um, I don't find it that hard to paint myself. I find it easy to paint myself. Now, I always thought that if you always do things the hard way, you'll never have a problem doing that thing ever again. Because if you learn the hard way, everything is easy after that. So, painting myself to get what I want, um, and I practice, and even though I mess up, and I refine it, and I fix it on myself, which is hard, or I don't consider it hard, but some people do, um, once you refine it on yourself, then you can easily duplicate it on another person very quick and easy. Now, there are some differences, like facial structure, facial shape, if you add jowls like I'm getting, these things, you know, it makes a difference. The face could be slender, could be more defined, bigger cheekbones, um, closer eyes, different shape to the nose. Anything that you do on yourself is not going to be exactly the same as you do on somebody else. But practicing on yourself, I think, is better than a mannequin because you can feel the give of the eyebrow as you're working on it and the feel of the cheek as the skin gets pushed around, you know, on the inside, the lips that move, you know, your nose, it moves, it doesn't stay straight in one place, it's not hard like a thing, you know, you can also pull the hair out of the way and you can make your forehead move a little bit like I do, <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> being a little goofy there. Do you barter your service and trade of other services? I have. Um, I bartered off uh, doing two body paintings for advertisement through Dex Nose. I don't know if anybody knows who Dex Nose is or what Dex Nose is, which is another type of yellow book. I didn't get anything out of that. I had it, it was listed, it was listed online. I didn't get anything from it, period. Um, for the year that I had it, I didn't get a phone call, didn't get anything. I got more from Gig Salad online than I did from Dex Nose. And Gig Salad is also another great uh, program to use to promote yourself online. And you can actually get referrals, you can... Um, price out free quotes for people <coughs> you can list yourself through a uh, better professional thing now it also gives you the option that if somebody does request your services you can send them a booking fee an application that they can look at a contract actually a booking contract and you can set it to if they need to make a deposit you can have them make the deposit pay the deposit and the application the booking fee or you can pay the booking fee and then they pay the deposit it makes it so much easier for you sometimes now if you pay the um, uh, the booking fee it'll come out of your total amount so you don't have to worry about paying for it right then and there it'll pay for it itself but you could also make the other person the person who's booking you pay that extra fee for the booking so it's a really great thing you do there. Um, do I pay to be listed? Through Gig Salad, yes, and it's $30 a month. Okay, now if you go for like a year, it drops down a little bit if you um, upgrade for a full year. Yes, so I do pay to be listed in certain things. Other things you don't have to pay to be listed in. Um, you can do a free account if you want, but like with free, you're going to get what you pay for. You're not going to get that many calls. You're not going to get that many customers and stuff. You're not going to get that many views of your profile. What I pay with $30 a month is I get a featured account which actually advertises on the home page of Gig Salad for me. So, you know, if somebody's looking up Face Painter, I'm going to be one of the first ones to pop up in my area. So that's really good to do. Um, Gig Masters is sort of like Gig Salad, but... Um, 
I really haven't dealt with them that much, and I need to look into it a little bit. I think it's a little bit more expensive than Gig Salad, and that's why I didn't go with them. Um, but I will be checking them out later on this year, and uh, I'll probably be listing myself in a little bit more. Um, I'm hoping to get myself going a little bit better. Uh... Uh, Thumbtack, I do have Thumbtack, and you have to buy credits in order to um, answer quotes for people. So that means you have to actually pay money into them in order to have certain credits so that you can answer um, what somebody requests from you, which I don't think is right. If somebody is requesting something from you, you should be able to answer them. If you get booked, then you pay Thumbtack for getting the job. If you don't get the job, what are you paying into? I mean, come on now. Thumbtack is cool and free. Yeah. Kinda. Like I said, it's not free. You pay money into it. <laughs> so. But there's a lot of different places out there. So I would actually suggest looking up, just Google search, you know, um, entertainment companies and see what's out there. Also, if you need insurance, there's several different places out there that have $1 million liability insurance for entertainers um, for $200 a year. Very quick and simple. Uh, the one I used to go through is K&K &K Insurance. If you spell it just like that, k and k insurance.com you can go to them. <coughs> the great thing with these online insurance places is if you have a festival and you need a certificate of insurance for that festival, you can do it online and print it off at home and you have it right there and it's free. You don't have to pay extra for a certificate of insurance for a town, a festival, or an event. Even for a birthday party, if you want to make sure you're covered and your customers are covered. That's a great thing to have, you know. Uh, let me think. What other places do I go through? I go through Y Bot, uh, not Y Body, Yelp. <laughs> I go through Yelp to list myself. I go through LinkedIn, Manga. Um, I try to work with every social network I can find out there. Um, I would probably work with TripAdvisor if I actually had a uh, physical location as such as a gallery that I'd be working out of constantly, you know, and have that listed, you know. I mean, there's plenty of different places you can list yourself on. The only problem is do not list yourself on any of these and do nothing with them. You have to keep them updated. Make changes regularly. Change your pictures. Um, change videos if you can put video on them like I can with uh, Gig Salad. <coughs> Promote it. Put it on your Facebook business page. And do whatever you have to do. If you have a um, if you have a good website, they have um, embed code for where they can ask for a free quote straight from your website. So if you take a look at my new website, I made some changes on there. If you're watching this on the new website, you can easily um, go to my home page and you can scroll down and you can see where it has um, a request uh, request for quote and it has um, reviews right next to it. And it's only got two out of the four reviews I've gotten so far. So, um, hey, while you're at it, why don't you write me a review? <laughs> On a gig salad. That way I can post it up for everybody to see. And, you know, I have more than four reviews. Um, I actually have five, but one of them is a false review from a problem I had last year with another individual. Um, so somebody tried to lie on there and make me look really bad. So I just ignored that one and took it off. Um, but, hey, why don't you uh, go there, uh, go to gig salad, uh, look up Katmandu Face and Body Art, write a review for me. Uh, Click on the link that's on my website under the Gig Salad Reviews on the home page. 
or the services page or the events page and um, go ahead and write me a review there while you're at it yeah yeah you 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 and 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 you yes Tal yes Sandy write me a review so um, what else can I say uh, <laughs> yeah all, all three of you uh, I'm included in that three I hope you know <laughs> so uh, which other listing the Yelp listing <laughs> I got an itchy nose Well, thank you for uh, sending, writing me a great review on Yelp. And um, if anybody else wants to write on Yelp, I'll put that link there too, so you can, you know. <laughs> we got a raffle copter here. Sandy rolling on the floor laughing. So, I'm I'm taking it. This is uh, Sandra Bates. Am I right? Who's Sandy? Um, yes, I will write you a review, Tal. Of course I will. I love your products. My girlfriend uses your products. Um, she's also expecting some free stencils that she said if... Uh, I think she said if... Anybody writes something on your wall, a review or something like that, you'll send them some free stencils. So I think she's expecting that. I'm not sure. So I don't know what she did or how it works. But uh, already shipped. Okay, I'll let her know as soon as she gets home. She can watch this and be surprised. So. <laughs> what, Max? You don't want my Mountain Dew here? Yes, I suggest everybody going out and getting this Never Wet product. Um, definitely go out and buy this. Buy two of them. Make sure you spray your tent down really good with the base coat. Not to where it's saturated and stiff as a board. But just enough. Three, four coats. Put that top coat on it and your tent will be completely dry you won't have those drips on the inside you won't have to look for seam seal or anything this stuff is incredible put it on your shoes put it on your shirt put it on your pants put it on anything that gets wet because the thing is it's going to save you a lot of money in the long run it's going to save you a lot of problems too Yeah, I'm not going to drink out of the ashtray again. Although I did wash it properly before spraying it down. Come here, Max. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come on. <laughs> He's drinking it right now. You can't see it. Come on. Come on. There's more. And what's funny is, there's nothing left. It's completely dry. <laughs> what's toxic? Mountain Dew? Mountain Dew is not toxic. <laughs> Look, if the dog can sniff each other's butts, if they lick their crotch and eat their poo, and... They puke up stuff and eat that again. I don't think Mountain Dew is going to do anything to them, okay? I mean, come on now. This this is the same dog that cleans out our litter box by eating the cat poop. <laughs> Mountain Dew does not make you glow on the inside. It makes you shriveled. But that's another story for another video. So, um, <laughs> this video has been fun. Haven't got any calls, but that's okay. Um, 
I'm just... I hope I answered all your questions to the best of my ability. I am going to end it now at 45 minutes. It's going to be a short show tonight. And um, hopefully I'll have more next week. Maybe um, I'm working on... Oh, here's a great thing. I'm working on with John Place to see if I can do something with Google Hangouts. So you won't be seeing live stream anymore. Hopefully you'll be seeing Google Hangouts. And we're going to see if we can get other face and body painters on board. And we'll do sort of like an online jam on Wednesday nights. Um, if you're interested in doing something like this, message me. Uh, we'll see what we can do about uh, figuring out the whole Google Hangouts thing. And we'll get John Place and maybe Margie Cantor. Uh, see if we can get Nick uh, one time online. You know, um, go through different ideas that other people have. And just make this a great um, online uh, chat and jam, pretty much. Maybe we'll have our paints out and we'll show off a little bit of what we can do or something like that. You know, um, on, our, on ourselves, on our arms. Uh, you know, I don't think I can reach across from one camera to the other and, you know, like paint John's face. I, that would be really weird if I could. That would be neat if I could, but I don't think that'll happen. So, um, if you're very, if, whoa, what was that? Okay. My camera flickered for some reason. Um, so if you're interested in doing something with Google Hangouts, uh, go ahead and message me on Facebook and we'll see what we can do about getting that together. I'm going to contact John Place, um, later on this week and see what we can do about that. So, probably be Friday after the 4th of July, because I'm pretty sure he's going to be busy tomorrow. Very busy tomorrow. Might not even be until Monday of next week before I can get a hold of him, but we'll see what we can do about that. So, um, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you hopefully next week. If there's no video next week, it's because we're trying to get something going with the Google Hangouts. If you see a video next week, hopefully it'll be a more interactive tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.